guys, this is the Nomad Detailer coming at you. And uh, what we got today is a Carefree of Colorado awning. Uh, it's torn here, so uh, we're going to show you the steps of how to replace this. What I've done, it was already ripped, but at the very top of the awning there, there's a set screw that's holding that fabric in place. I've removed that set screw. And then on the Carefree of Colorado awnings, there's a screw right here at the top and a screw here at the bottom. Most of the time it's a Torx bit. However, if you don't have a Torx bit, the number two square head also will fit in there and work just fine. Uh, with the Carefree of Colorado awning assembly, um, you don't have to worry about any springs or tubes uh, inside, any springs inside the tube that's gonna come and just unravel with you like on the Dometic ones. Um, so on this one, once you have these two screws removed, you can simply just pull the head out. All right, and Layton, if you'll come over here and just kind of hold this for me. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna fold this arm in. All right, now that the arm is put in, There we go. All right, so I'm gonna run the zip tie tube and just barely just click it. All you're trying to do is just keep that arm from coming out. This was already loose. Okay, same thing, no spring on this side. You're just gonna gently pull away from the tube. I'm gonna reach down and I'm gonna set the tube down on the deck. Normally, if the deck wasn't there, I would just lay it straight down on the wall. I'm gonna push this up. All right, so once this arm is in, you're gonna do the same thing as the other side. You're just gonna put your zip tie in just to keep the arm closed. Okay, we're gonna put this forward and we're just gonna lower it straight down the wall, okay? Okay, so now that uh, we've got it laying straight down, um, we've got the, the uh, tube here, and inside the tube here, you've got slots. Now, what I like to do on this particular awning, I don't know about the replacement, there's no valance, okay? The valance just hangs here. Um, if there was a second attachment here with a valance, which the replacement may have, I don't know yet, then that would also <clears throat> be attached right here. So what you wanna do is you wanna mark these so you get them back correctly. So what I like to do is just do a one notch, just a tiny little notch, nobody sees it up here. So I know that that's where the main one goes. And then if there was a second one, which there might be, I'm gonna go ahead and put a, t a two there. All right, just so I know where that goes. Now, with Layton's help down there, I'm gonna start pushing this to Layton. And he's gonna pull this tube completely out. All right, and then you're gonna bring it back up here and just lay it on the ground. Okay, so there is no set screw on this side. So they only had a set screw on one side, one side only, which is okay. So now on Layton's end, or Layton, come down here and just guide it for me. All right, we're just gonna now take this fabric and we're just gonna slide it off. and catch it for you, bud. All right, so I'm gonna have Layton pull on it now and I'm gonna guide it up over the arm here. All right, ready? Start pulling. All right, so now what we're gonna do in the track before we put the new one on, because the new one can fight you a little bit, we're gonna take some uh, dry loop spray and all we're gonna do is just gently just come in here and we're just gonna spray some dry loop spray in there to lubricate that. Can't keep the straw on. You don't need to do the whole thing. It's normally just that beginning part to get it started. All right, so now we're gonna go down and get things ready. All right, go ahead and let's unfold it. Okay, 
Okay, so this one here does in fact have a valet, so it's good that I marked it. As you can see here, there's two ribs. So we will be running this into the tube with the with the valet section as well. All right, and we'll show you that in just a moment. All right, if you'll pick that up and hand it to me, and then walk out there and grab the other end for me, and we're going to start feeding. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this plastic peg and I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to feed it in. You want to make sure this fabric right here doesn't get caught on the sharp edge of the track. All right, so you're just going to fold it over itself. You're going to pick it up and take all the slack off of it until you can get it fed okay, like so. Now I'm going to sit here and gently just feed this down. Okay guys, so since I need my helper, we're gonna go ahead and stop because I'm gonna take the photographer for a minute too. When we come back, this will be all the way slid down and it'll just be hanging, okay? So we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, so now's a good opportunity while you're down here to go ahead and clean the tube really well. Uh, I got Layton cleaning the tube for me and I want to the customer is also reporting all his lights are burned out and As you can see here, they're pretty toast All right Awful, so he's got a new set of uh, LED lights over there that he's provide providing So what I'm going to do is on the end here You snap off this little guard on the very end That's going to allow me to get up underneath this so I can pull up the light, and you can just see it's just UV beat up is what it is. So these are shot. So what we're gonna do is just pull this back. Yeehaw. I love tearing up stuff, don't you? Unfortunately, I always have to fix it. Okay, so down here while Layton's uh, finishing cleaning the tube. So the Carefree of Colorado awning is equipped with a light that's embedded in a track. Um, the customer's replacement light doesn't fit in here. It's just slightly too wide. So we're going to run them right below the uh, awning up on the wall. But if you'll zoom in here for a second, if you had the proper ones, and now's a good time to take out and replace all those cheap Chinese LEDs, um, pull this completely out, clean it up with some mineral spirits. And the way this works is there's a little hole right here, and you just basically run it through the track. You want to make sure you remember which one it was in when it's pretty obvious you can see the glue residue and you're going to run the light up through there first and then run it because you're going to have a pigtail on the end that may or may not fit through there which it doesn't so the entire length of the uh, lights has to be ran through the tube first like so and then up through the hole and then you're just going to run it down being very careful not to damage the leds in the process all right, so as you can see right here is the mark that I made, my number one mark. So I'm going to do the same thing I did earlier. And then I'm going to just tilt the tube and let it run. All right, I'm going to rotate this one. And we'll do the same thing here. Oh, bud, you're twisting it on me. All right, we'll let it run up. I'm going to get rid of that. All right. Let me see your towel for a minute. Just toss it. All right. Now that we're lubricated, I'm going to find my mark once again. And I'm going to put the awning in first. All right. I'm going to then put the valets in 
And what you want to do is fold this up and here until you get this started on the tube. I got it started there, push up and over the tube. And now I'm gonna pinch it back behind here until we get this running and fed. All right, now, as you can see, the reason why we marked this, we had the balance, uh, balance goes in the second one, main awning goes in the first one. So now, we're gonna hold this tight and so we're gonna start gently pushing. Hold on. And we're gonna do the same thing we did earlier. We're just gonna gently, slow, slow down. We're just gonna gently slide the tube in. And while you're doing this, you wanna pull it away from the RV because the end of the tube is very sharp. If you hit the RV, you're gonna do some damage. All right, if you'll go down to the middle, I got this, and help it feed, and then I want you all the way down to the Go ahead and go to the end, because it's going very well. That's what lubrication does. Uh, I pretty much was able to slide this whole tube myself. Okay. All right, now we're gonna go down to this end, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna make sure we get it fed in without any pinching on the end here. All right, Layton, if you'll go down there and push the tube for me. Yes, sir. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing right now, but I'm basically doing the same thing you saw on the other side. Okay, hold it. All right, now we've gotten to the end, and this is where you want to be careful. Push. All right, we're good. Okay, guys, now we're going to do everything opposite of what we did before. So we've got the tube, we've got the balance all situated. So what Leighton and I are going to carefully do together is we're going to start rolling this up. And uh, when, as you're rolling it, pull it away from the wall, again, so you don't do any kind of damage. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're tracking kind of straight. You want to let it hang with the weight of the tube and the fabric so that way you're pulling these wrinkles at, out as we're going. So all we're really doing is just kind of guiding it up and watching the wrinkles. Alright, right, keep going up higher. All right, now once you get it in this position here, go ahead and push the arm out of the way. And then you can go ahead and slide this in. We need to go up a little bit more though, so our holes line up. All right, ready? Roll it up some. All right, can you roll it up and put it in place? got the uh, first screw in here. I'm going to now cut the zip tie off. All right, done with that. And we're going to, that one screw will hold it until I get down there and get that cap secured. So I'm going to run down there now. Go ahead and come down late and I'm going to go up. Okay, we got one screw in there. Again, we're gonna come down and we're gonna cut the zip tie. All right. 
Now we're ready to go ahead and roll it out a little bit and get the other two screws in. Right there. Run a screw in here as well. Okay. All right, I'm going to back my ladder up, and we're going to ask the customer to go ahead and extend his slide, his awning, all the way out. All right, if we can go out with the awning. Right now, guys, is I'm looking to make sure it's tracking straight and I'm watching the arms. All right, go ahead and go out with the awning just a little. So, what I'm going to do is kick the awning over just a hit. That's good. Okay, come on in. Okay, out. So that, okay, that's good. So I went the wrong direction. That's the only way you can go and judge it. So I'm now gonna take away what I added and then add a little bit more. Okay, come on in. Now, you see how I went too much? Well, close now. Everybody see that. So the whole adjustment, when most people, when they see this, they think their arms are damaged, they're not. Your fabric determines how this rolls up. So go ahead and go back out a little. So what, that's good. So what we'll do now is I'm going to just bump it back just a little. Okay. All right, go ahead in until we track prop in properly and close up like that. All right. So now that we've got everything set, I'm going to take the set screw that was in here and I'm going to place it back into the same spot and it's going to go through that plastic trim piece. And that's all there is to it. The awning is now replaced and adjusted. All right, guys, it's that simple. If you have any questions, respond below. Click like, subscribe, all that good stuff so you get all my notifications. Um, and we'll see you next time. This is Leon, the Nomad Detailer, signing out. This could be a blooper. I'm gonna let it hang with the weight of the, of the, uh, crap, what's this called again? <laughs> the tube, thank you. You can edit that, right? All right, well, hold on. All but right, so you wanna, um, huh. caught that on cake tape? Huh. <laughs> I lost my straw. It blew off inside, so hold on one second. Oh, and a razor blade. This one's turning into a blooper, blooper, blooper.